Today I'm going to fly the Cessna Caravan down to Tampa. It'll be empty, four and a half hour flight, so it's a long one. Once I get down there, I'll have a fast lunch, and then the owner and I, he's down in Tampa right now, will do some pattern work. Then I'm going to spend the night, and the next day, uh, the two of us will fly over to Nassau on the caravan, and I'll come back on the airlines. There's the radar housing. Speedo static tube for airspeed, landing lights. See, the caravan's got an EPA can also. Right there on the right. That EPA can has got to be drained every six flights. The caravan is unpressurized and we had a pretty strong uh, tailwind up at 15,000 feet. So I climbed up to 15,000 to take advantage of it. But above 14,000, I've got to be on oxygen continuously. That's why I'm wearing the mask. By going up there, I actually took 15 minutes off the uh, time for the trip. I'm landing on runway one right. The FBO is on the right side of the runway, that signature flight support. There's so much construction going on here that I have to turn off the left and exit the runway, wait for traffic, cross the right, back across the left, and then back across again. And you kind of see that where I'm waiting for traffic. Okay, some life jackets, pick my stuff up here, got to find a place for those, I got this, got it all taken care of right here for the next flight, which is going to be in an hour. Four hours and 15 minutes down here, man, I was just running for the men's room when I got on the ground. Boss man sends me a text, says give me a call when you get a chance. And uh, this is the new plan. He'll be here in an hour. I'm supposed to go grab some lunch real fast. We're going to go fly, I don't know, an hour, an hour and a half. Go over to St. Pete, do some takeoff and landings and stuff like that. He used to own a caravan before, so he's got some experience with it. Just needs to be uh, re-familiarized with it. So we'll do that. Then I'm going to buy a ticket, head out tonight, and he'll go over to Tampa. No, not Tampa. He'll, he'll he'll head over to Nassau tomorrow. That's where he's going. Four hours and 12 minutes, man. <laughs> How can you make a six-hour flight in this thing? You know, I mean, I know it's got a little potty, but you're by yourself. You've got to work out something else. Oh, well. Got to run and get some lunch real fast. I just literally inhaled that cheeseburger. I was in such a hurry. I tried to use my iPad to get a Southwest ticket. There's a flight that leaves out at 8. My card got, got declined, but I thought maybe I keyed in something wrong, so I tried to use it to pay for uh, lunch, and it worked. So I keyed something in wrong. So when I get back to the FBO, I'll have to get my computer out try again. I get on the 8 o'clock flight. You know, that'll get me home at a reasonable hour. It's a 2-hour, 30-minute flight. Go over to St. Petersburg, do a little air work, do some pattern work. 
Makes for a full day. Right after I got back from lunch, the owner showed up, and uh, instead of going to Tampa St. Pete, we went over to Tampa Executive, and uh, we did the pattern there, went out and did some mirror work. Actually stayed out about an hour, hour and a half, and uh, he did great. No problems at all. Like I said, he had plenty of uh, caravan time, just wanted to get back in it. Thanks for watching, thanks for the likes and the comments, and if you made it this far, you definitely need to subscribe. That way you'll find out about the next video coming out. And for all you guys that want to buy me a cup of coffee, there's always my Patreon. You can toss a buck in there. I appreciate everything. You guys keep the blue side up, the brown side down, and fly safe.